that's a that's got the bigger wow. Hey everyone, how's it going? So here looking at a Ionic 5. So there's two trim that we'll be reviewing today in this video. We've been searching for a new EV. This right here is the SEL with the interior trim update and all LED lights all around. It does have ambient lights as well. It comes in three trim, SE, SEL, and Limited. So this is the SEL. It has 303 miles of range, 168 kilowatts, uh, 255 horsepower. It does have ability to fast charge, I believe 18 minutes to 80% from 20%. So you can definitely take this on long road trip, not a problem at all, as long as there that uh, fast charging capability um, from from Le Electrify America. It does come with, I believe, two years of free charging, as well as three years of free maintenance. It has two touch screen, or I'm sorry, one touch screen and one instrument cluster, both 12.3 inches. They're both HD and digital. So as you can see from the exterior, it has that retro look the interior has that um, 70s, 80s look, but more modernized. I can't explain it. It does look very cool in person. There are cheap materials um, with the door handle there, plastic. But overall, the whole cabin is very nice. A, a step up from a Tesla interior for sure. All the fit and finish trim, everything seems to fit into place without you know worrying about things falling apart or misalignment it has power lift gate again ambient lighting interior something that will put tesla to shame because tesla keep taking away ambient lighting within their vehicle even the s and x you have usb port in the back two usb uh, you have air vents in the back so the air vents only come with the sel and limited for the rear if you get the se the vents is only in front you have armrest storage as well as uh, underneath the armrest storage. Here are the LED retro lights in the front. Very cool in person to look at. It's, it's definitely a, a, a eye um, catcher for a lot of people that drove by it when we were test driving this in the evening. It looks amazing at night time. And overall, the light bar in the middle only comes with uh, the SEL and the limited for the front and you see that right here so again very very different it's just an interesting look uh, not in the bad way it looks very futuristic however also throwing in a retro look to it now if we were to end up getting this Ionic 5 I probably debadge that that Hyundai logo and maybe put a Genesis logo in there. I don't know, but it's just the, the Hyundai logo doesn't fit well with this Ionic 5. I wish that um, it took on the Genesis. I'm sure down the line, Genesis will come up yeah. with their own EV part based on the same platform as this and the EV6. So all I have to say is I'm very surprised with the fit and finish, the quality. It seems like they threw a lot of Genesis uh, DNA into this vehicle uh, versus Hyundai. So I'm just surprised that they brand this as a Hyundai. As you can see the door handles are all automated. It's just like the Model 3 and Y, how, how it opens, just the way it opens. It is flush with the vehicle, but it's automated. The wheels, you have you have 19s on the uh, SE, and I think you, SEL, you can get the 20s, or it comes with the 20s. And then Limited, same thing. In limited, you have the premium headlights uh, display and the HUD, um, and you have arg augmented reality, blind spot monitoring, and remote start parking assist, which moves the vehicle for you, I believe. Um, all the vehicle comes with lane assist or lane keep assist and distant control, very similar to basic um, Tesla autopilot, not the enhanced one, just the basic one. It doesn't have full self-driving that I'm aware of. This is the 
SE model, you can totally see the difference. All the materials are more of a less premium look. It does have soft touches, but there are hard surfaces as well. You can't really tell uh, the difference between the SEL and the Limited, but between the SE and the other lineup is, is, is showing. So would recommend paying that extra few thousand dollars for the SEL. It's a bigger bang for the buck than just getting the SE. I think it's just 3,000 more for the SEL, but you get premium leather or vegan seats and you have ambient lighting, you have all LED. So versus these cloth, it just makes the car looks cheap and doesn't look like a modernized vehicle at all. Um, although everything else is the same, they do have rear wheel drive as well as all wheel drive and the drive column there is pretty big from what I, I can tell um, based on holding it. I don't know why they made it that big. And then as for the front, uh, you, you don't have much space up here, but you do have a little storage, which we'll show in a brief moment. You have your windshield fluid, battery fluid, brake fluid, steering wheel fluid, and your 12 volt right there. That's not a lithium. You have your fast charging port here. You, you can see the lights there. That just shows it's fully charged. And again, the retro look continues with the square lights. Underneath the rear tailgate, the cargo, you have some storage there for your charge uh, wire and charge uh, charging adapters. The rear seats, surprisingly, you can move it forward and backwards as well as fold it completely flat. Uh, what surprised me the most is you can recline, uh, recline this, uh, I think up to 30 degrees, uh, maybe even more. So very comfortable on long road trip. USB port in the rear. Here's the storage, very minimum. You probably can only fit a small pizza in here with a couple boxes, maybe even just one box of garlic bread. But that's pretty much it. You can't even fit a two liter bottle in there unless, unless you don't have um, a pizza in there, then it should fit. Not sure why they don't have more storage in the front because it seems like they have space underneath there. They just have to move things around. But it is what it is. So we took this for a test drive because considering to get one of this in the near future, it drives really well. I would say it's 80% more comfortable than a Tesla vehicle. I'm not sure what's with Tesla suspension. I know it handles better. But this Ionic 5 just feels a lot smoother. Not in like a boat way, like, um, like it doesn't lose any handling ability. It just handles really well. And it rides very smoothly. It's just like you're, you're floating in the air. I can't really explain it. So go ahead and test drive this if you're interested in something other than Tesla. Highly recommend it. We're going to check out the EV6 in future video. So stay tuned for that. And remember to subscribe. But... Overall, very impressed with this first EV model from, uh, from Hyundai. And hopefully Genesis come up with something. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe. Hopefully you find this video helpful in your search for an EV.